Cheers, guys. How's life? Alex cares. I bought a Epsilon SN replica PHPH carburetor to compare it with an original PHPH Delorto. That's my spare one for my own engine. The slideshow is coming after the video. I may blend in some pictures here and there or here. What is it about? Epsilon SN and Delorto. Yes, body looks perfectly the same, absolutely. But if you have a closer look, you do see some differences. For instance, the finishing of the surfaces inside, and inside is not that unimportant for a carburetor, is at the Delorto way nicer and finer than at the replica from Taiwan. 3343 setting, which I recommend for Vespa. There is no info at all which jets the Ypsilon SN does have. Okay, you can also sell a carburetor unknown jetting, as it seems. This is Ypsilon SN, this is the Lorto. Take all inner parts out, the jets, the needle, the atomizer, main jet, idle jet, etc. and so on, and especially also the slide, and just take a knife and then make a scratch test to compare if this material is as hard as the original one or if it is softer. And what you do clearly see here is the simple scratch test. Guess one time. Replica is softer. And this continues with the needles. And furthermore, I mean, this needle is marked as an X2. If you hold it together and compare it, you already see with your eye that this has definitely different measurements than these. And it continues like that. The atomizer of the Ypsilon SN does not even have a number. It's blank. I did not believe my eyes. I still cannot find any marks on the atomizer. And this is, let's say, a bit of a bad joke. Selling a carburetor kind of with unknown sizes of the jets. I did compare the idle jet sizes with the reamer, you know, putting jets on the reamer and they are approximately the same. I did not compare the uh, main jets. And that is a mistake. This is a 250. I changed it on the slide. The same 40. Idle jet is the same. Delorto has 115 main jet. The Ypsilon SN has a 125. Oh yeah, it's switched this case. So at the good 3343 you have an AS266 atomizer unknown at the Ypsilon SN X2 needle no it's not 70 choke and 200 and 250 float that's the Ypsilon SN. Yeah what I could not remove was the choke itself. You see that all the materials and the screws are softer than the original one so I was not able to get this screw out and I already screwed it up a bit. Same applies to the, the needle which is holding the floater. I was not able to remove it at the Ypsilon SN and I used then scissors because usually this sits very very loose. You can take it out easily as you know. I usually take then a scissor or a caliper and Pull it out like this. Not possible with the Ypsilon SN. I already damaged the needle a bit. Yo, that's how it is. I'm sure it will work somehow, but there are clearly differences in the quality, especially with the inside parts. Price wise, 83, 110 or so. You'll find it 110, 120. If you get all the Lorto inside, stuff you need to get it on the same technical quality level as the Delorto, you pay definitely more bucks for the Ypsilon SN. So my recommendation, forget the replica, go with the original. Even if they are not available all the time, be patient, you will find them online. I'm not saying it doesn't work, I'm just saying it is definitely lower quality 
Dende del Orto. And why would we do that? They are so cheap. Why saving 20 bucks for maybe hassles? What uh, I got from posts on my Facebook page is that at the joke, overflow drill or so was drilled through and did suck air, whatever. I cannot really verify it here because I can't get the joke out. Anyways, that was just the outside, also the inside look. I have not tried it yet because it, of course, also matters how good are the bores. Are the bores clean? Um, do they have the right diameter, etc. and so on? And this is defining how good a carburetor works. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sell it for low. It will work. Del Orto is definitely better. Cheers, guys. See ya. Oh, yeah, and one funny thing is this is the clip of the Lorto. And we know that these clips do sit quite tight. They have to, logically. You see, you need a screwdriver and then it does not turn. Now look at the engine on this end. <laughs> you see that? It sits completely loose. Yeah, that's also not meant to be like that. So why would you sell such crap, please? Come on. It's not enough if something outside does look pretty much the same and the cast of the replica is even nicer. Well, it was painted, whatever, and this is rougher. It doesn't matter. It's about the technical details, guys.